everyone, welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday, another continuation on the Nutanix HV and how we protect that beam. We're going to try and keep it to two minutes or there or thereabouts just for a bit of fun and games. Um, so this video is going to be about how we actually start protecting those workloads. So both from a backup perspective, which was there in version one, but also being able to start leveraging some of those snapshot jobs or snapshot technology from the native uh storage system within Nutanix HV. So if we go and take a look at this in the in the console, very simple, you say whether it's a backup job, a snapshot job, or a protection domain snapshot job. We then choose our workloads, so our virtual machines that we wish to protect. Again, we've just got a simple web server there that we're gonna choose and leave there as, as our, our snapshot job. We then choose when we want that to run, so I want it to run on the hour every hour. And how long do we want to keep it for? Obviously within that schedule and off we go, we leave that to run. If we go and take a look at a backup, again, we tick our backup, we choose our workload and then we choose our destination. Now, obviously from a snapshot point of view, and there is also the exclusion now in that we can exclude disks um, within that one VM. Now that VM's only got one disk. We choose our backup repository and we say when we want it to be removed thereafter, but we can also schedule those active falls, something that we were missing in that version one, um, in the version one release. So we choose where we want it to go, then we set our retention again, and we set our um, schedule. So again, we see that that looks, looks more along the lines of for every four hours, we're gonna take that back up. Now this one is created, um, by default. So this is gonna protect our AHV Veeam proxy that you saw us deploy in the original um, video. And this allow this creates a protection domain called Veeam Backup Protection. And it allows us to run through a very similar look and feel of that, that snapshot job that you saw in the first walkthrough. So now into VBR, we've got visibility of these, these backup jobs and we can start them from here and we can edit them, although that will take us back to that web web console and that web interface. So these jobs are then running on our on our um, schedule. You can get some information about how fast things are being moved over or how fast the snapshot is, is taking. And yeah, if, what we can also do from a recovery, and that's gonna be the next video, is that well we can actually recover from these 